Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is uh, Russian River Supplication. Shout out to my friend Hassan who picked it up in California for us. And this is a sour, uh, classic American sour, 7.75% uh, 7. 7 uh, aged in Pinot Noir barrels and then added with cherries. Ooh. So just, uh, again, one of the uh, probably <clears throat> famous sours that has really inspired a lot of uh, sour brewing in America. So uh, shout out to Vinny Trilizzo. So uh, again, cherries sort of had added this kind of like pinkish, reddish yep. flavor to it, rosy kind of flavor. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that's different, right? Very different. It's more malt forward to me. Mm -hmm. The cherries are in there, but they're more on the back end of the... It's not as um, tart. Not at all. And not as fruit flavor, uh, not as fruity and tart as uh, raspberry flavor. It's more of that kind of like, um, a little bit more jammy of a, uh, maybe a maraschino kind of Definitely cherry. Definitely smells sweet mm -hmm. on the sweet side. There's so a candied kind of sweetness to it. Good change of yeah. pace. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's different, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you, um, so you said you had Consecration before, but yeah, what are you going to I've got one? this one. It has that kind of like, um, more distilled or oxidized kind of taste to it than yeah. others. It's yeah. not and tart at all to me, actually. I mean, if there's tartness there, it's from the cherries, I feel like, and not from the fermentation. It's like so... Yeah, there's not too much... Ah, on the back end, I get a little bit of a sip, too. Tiny but. bit. But it's like... But not as hard as the last beer. More fruit forward, more malt forward. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of like rounded kind of breadiness on this one. Um, maybe some white wine on the back end. Oh, sorry, sorry, Pinot on the back end. It's definitely wine in the barrel. Barrel, yeah. And it's drying it out a little bit. So some like, tannins. Or, this is most barrel, a barrel tasting of the bunch. Right, you said this one was aged in... Pinot. Pinot barrels, okay. Um... Awesome. I, I do like the mouthfeel, has that kind of prickly carbonation from the Cantillon. Um, it has some different flavors going on than the Cantillon. Like, mm -hmm. This there, is like the... There's some funk and weirdness of. too going on. I mean, prior to having the Cantillon, this is like what I think of as like the type of sour I like. Mm -hmm. It's not overly puckering. It has some interesting flavors there. There's definitely things in here that aren't lacto. Yeah, so it is uh, lacto... Brett and PDO okay. uh, pitched, whereas the other one is Pitch. like, you know, just like, you know, spontaneous. So and it's giving it those kind of like, uh, when I when I taste Brett, I, I tend to lean towards like almost like a cheesiness. Yeah, yeah. I, to I, it, it has some of that flavor to it. Yeah. And also like a staleness. Staleness. That, I'm getting some chemically thing that I was getting mm -hmm. in the previous beer. Um, that's so I like really the way beer. it all comes together and the cherries are definitely there, but it's not overpowering. It seems yeah. to really blend well with the mix of bugs they put in this thing. Yeah. So it's definitely more complex than the... A lot more going on in the frame, which is a lot yes. cleaner of a fruited sour. This one has... You heard it here first. Don't buy frame. <laughs> that beer was great, Darwin, by the way. Darwin that beer was delicious. It's just a different frame. beer. <laughs> so we're getting a range of like kind of different kind of sour brewing. And uh, no, but that beer was... No, no it was I, good. I really I'm, like, I'm yeah, joking. Yeah. It's I'm just, joking. you know, I think we've progressed with a little bit of difference with the Cantillon and this. They're all thing. very different. Yeah. This is a fun kind of, you know, fun having these beers back to back. Yeah. To, um, so, what do you think? Uh, final conclusions about this beer? Mm. I like the added complexity of the the additional cultures. Yeah. For me, it's more like a like a ninety six ninety seven. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm I'm getting some nice like buttery oak character on this one mm -hmm. as well. Um, I think I like can't see a ton more. Um, go with the 93 on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. You so, hate it. <laughs> this is a strong rating. So until next time, guys, cheers. Uh, post the comments below what do you think about this beer. Until next time, later.